Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Kia energized the Chicago Auto Show this year with their first ever hybrid only SUV to compete with the likes of the Ford C Max and the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. The new Kia Nero is what they call a hybrid utility vehicle, which kind of makes it an HUV, not an SUV. Kia's design studios in California were tasked with designing a purpose-built hybrid but didn't want it to look like one. The result is what Kia calls a no-compromise vehicle that combines driving enjoyment with eye-catching design, functional utility, and hybrid efficiency. And it bravely steps out with distinctive lines and a shape that shares nothing with existing Kia models. Similar in size to the newly revealed 2017 Kia Sportage, the Nero has a longer 106 inch wheelbase, yet it comes in a few inches shorter overall, giving it a completely different stance. Its low slung appearance and angular presentation defy the notion that an eco model or dedicated hybrid has to look stupid or dowdy in order to be taken seriously. In fact, the only indicator you get that this is one are the subtle emblems. Otherwise, it looks like a premium crossover. Powering the Nero is a unique Atkinson cycle version of the brand's 1.6 liter GDI four-cylinder engine that makes 103 horsepower. A 43 horsepower electric motor fits in between it and a six-speed dual clutch transmission for a total of 146 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. This powertrain design promises to offer a more spirited and traditional feel in its driving behavior than the litany of hybrid cars out there that have a CVT. And best of all, while official numbers haven't been released yet, Kia is targeting 50 MPG combined for the Nero. Designing a purpose-built hybrid was really about the packaging to give better space inside without compromising an existing design with the extra weight and space taken of the battery. Here, its lithium-ion battery pack is placed under the rear seat in a way that allows for a flat rear cargo floor with no compromises. The interior looks and feels much like any of the compact crossovers in which it'll compete, though it does have a few design touches to let you know you've got something unique. The instrument cluster has a coasting guide which helps you to maximize fuel economy by coaching you with various prompts. There's also a predictive energy control feature which can use the navigation system and cruise control to anticipate terrain changes ahead, adjusting power and coast behavior to best take advantage of the ups and downs and hills automatically for better MPG. Making it feel of quality and handle well is its all new unique platform architecture that uses 53% advanced high strength steel in its construction in addition to hot stamped components and adhesives for maximum structural integrity. And in that way, Kia expects that along with the Nero's advanced suite of available driver assistance and crash prevention systems, it very well could achieve an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus honor for its crash safety. The 2017 Kia Nero arrives in dealerships late this year with pricing to come along closer to that time. They also say a plug-in hybrid version is going to be introduced in another year or two. In the meantime, click on the link right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have more updates on this. Plus, we test drive one, sometimes two vehicles every week and we have a new video just like this almost every day. There's always something new. So stay tuned.